Hi, I'm Jerry O'Donnell with Four Angels Messages, and I'm joined this morning with my daughter. Hi, I'm Rowan. Together we're going to address another child's question, but before we begin, let's take a moment in prayer. Our Father, thank you so very much for this time to spend with thee. We pray for thy Holy Spirit to guide us in thy word and showing us where we do the wrong show us the right way and uh, lead us into that way which is of, of Jesus we pray that you would uh, guide us now answering our question and may thy word speak to us in Jesus name we pray amen all right Rowan what's our question today how did Joshua get tricked into believing the Gibeonites came from a faraway place Okay, so the Gibeonites, uh, just as a reminder, uh, take old containers of liquid wine and, uh, and made sure that they looked beat up and, and used as if someone traveled a long distance. They purposely grabbed some moldy bread because when it's freshly baked and you travel, the heat, the days that go by, it gets moldy. Um, and, there were, and their clothing was purposely chosen to look as if they had traveled many days. And, and an agreement was made so that the Israelites would not destroy them. It turns out, instead, they're the actual next people to be conquered. Uh, when the Israelites were taking the land over and God was driving the people out. So the question is, since they were told not to enter into any agreement with anybody like this, how did Joshua, a man of God, get tricked into believing that they were from a faraway country? The Bible has an answer for this. And uh, let's go to the Bible in Joshua chapter 9 and verse 14. Joshua chapter 9 and when you get to Joshua 9 look for the 14th verse and we'll listen to Rowan actually read that to us. And the men took off their victuals and asked not counsel at the mouth of the Lord. That second part is the answer. When we make decisions without seeking the way of God, we're bound to make mistakes. And f this man of God, Joshua, and the elders, I guess you could say, of the Israelites, they did not counsel with God. They did not search the scriptures or uh, recall the, the way of God, or for that matter, since they were communing with God, because uh, remember there was this cloud of uh, smoke during the day and pillar of fire and uh, they had this temple that they set up uh, constructed out of sheep skins and stuff like that and animal skins and uh, they made a breastplate where uh, for the high priest to to wear it was first worn by Aaron and then passed on to his son. And uh, it provided, through lighting up, uh, answers to, to different questions. So they didn't make a mistake. Well, they didn't do any of that. And they just simply say, looked at the people. Yeah, it's obvious that you came from a great distance. Um, you know, you're probably so far away on the very edge. What's that little piece of land to us? Uh, let's make an agreement, and uh, and they did, only to find out that now that piece of land is actually right next door. And so when we make decisions in our life and don't consult the Word of God to see is it of God or not, then we make our make up our own God, you know. And you recognize that whenever people say, "Well, my Jesus," that's somebody that didn't consult the Word of God. They just think that. Uh, their Jesus would do this and they are making their own God and let's not be guilty of, of that so let's be careful 
uh, of all the decisions we go to make, something in the Bible should give us guidance uh, and uh, let us uh, follow the word of God as closely as possible. And so that's the answer is they didn't consult God. They didn't search the scriptures. There you go. Let's pray. Our Father, thank you so very much for this time that I spent with you. Thank you for thy word. Help us to always come to thee whenever there is a decision to be made. And if anything, at least to get confirmation in what we go to do. Uh, but overall, may it be what you would have us to do. And I pray that uh, we will think on these things in Jesus' name. Amen.